today we're going to build this a full integration with Google Tag Manager and FinSuite Cookie Consent. By the nature of how Tag Manager works, we need to take these steps to be GDPR compliant. We'll use the FinSuite Components Webflow app to make it happen. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this Google Tag Manager integration. Let's do it. That's effing sweet. Let's learn how to configure Google Tag Manager with FinSuite Cookie Consent. Only do this setup if you're using Google Tag Manager to manage your third-party scripts. If you're not, ignore this video. The first thing we have to do to be GDPR compliant is remove this no script tag from Google Tag Manager. No script tags are not compliant with cookie consent regulations, so I'll remove this no script. Next, we need to download the Google Tag Manager template we created for you. This step is required to satisfy Google Consent Mode V2. You can download this template in the Cookie Consent documentation or in the YouTube video description. In the Google Tag Manager left sidebar menu, click on Templates, and then create a new tag template. Click on the three dots, then Import. Now select the FinSuite Cookie Consent GTM template file. Through this template file, custom code is imported to make consent mode work. Let's navigate to the Info tab, click on Agree to Community Template Gallery Terms of Service, and then Save. Done. That's it. Our template was successfully imported. Now let's navigate to the Tags page in the Google Tag Manager left sidebar menu. In this step, we're going to create the tab for Consent Initialization. Click on New, and we'll call this tag Consent Mode Init. Then I'll click on the Tag Configuration section and select FinSuite Cookie Consent GTM Template. Now we'll go into Triggering and select Consent Initialization All Pages. Then Save. The next step is to add a trigger to each script that is being fired inside Google Tag Manager. A trigger will give us control of when scripts load. This is going to prevent each script from loading when the page loads. We want to load our scripts only when the user consents to them. Let's click into the Triggers page on the left sidebar menu. The triggers that we create here need to match the categories from FinSuite Cookie Consent. Essential, Marketing, personalization, and analytics. Let's add them by creating a new trigger. I'll rename to Essential Cookies. Then clicking into the trigger configuration, I'll choose Custom Event. I'll make event name Essential-Activated, and then select Some Custom Events, then Event equals Essential-Activated. Let's save. And now we have our first cookie consent category added to Google Tag Manager. Let's do the same thing for the next three categories. It's the same steps we just followed, so I'll go through these steps quickly. Now, let's create the marketing category. I'll name this Marketing Cookies. Click on Trigger Configuration, Custom Event, name it Marketing-Activated. This trigger fires on some custom events. And same as before, Event equals Marketing-Activated. Next is Personalization, with the name of Personalization Cookies. Trigger Configuration, Custom Event, name it Personalization-Activated, and this trigger fires on some custom events. Event equals Personalization-Activated. And last one is Analytics, with the name of Analytics Cookies. Trigger Configuration, Custom Event, Analytics-Activated, this trigger fires on some custom events, and event equals Analytics-Activated. Great, we have all of our category triggers added, and now we're going to add tags to update when our scripts are triggered. In this tutorial, we have three scripts, Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, and Zendesk. By default, each of these scripts will fire on all pages. We're going to change this by clicking into the script, 
removing the All Pages trigger, and then adding the category that this script should be categorized under. I'll choose Marketing Cookies for Facebook. Let's do the same thing for Google Analytics. I'll remove All Pages and then add Analytics Cookies. Last one is Zendesk. Remove All Pages trigger again, and then I'll add Personalization Cookies. To satisfy Google Consent Mode V2, we'll need to add an additional configuration to each tag. And before we do this, let's look at a visual showing how Google recommends we match our fields to the consent categories. Essential maps to security storage. Marketing maps to ad storage. Analytics maps to analytic storage. Personalization maps to personalization storage and functionality storage. Let's start with Facebook Pixel. Click on Advanced Settings, open Consent Settings, click Require Additional Consent for Tag to Fire, and then select Add Required Consent. In this dropdown, we'll select Add Storage. Let's apply this step to all of our scripts in Google Tag Manager. Next is Google Analytics. I'll go inside Advanced Settings, open Consent Settings, Require additional consent for tag to fire, then select analytic storage. Last is Zendesk. Advanced settings, consent settings, require additional consent, and select personalization storage and functionality storage. Great, let's close out of this panel and submit our changes. We can add a version name and then click Publish when we're ready. We're done. Now let's test our setup and make sure it's working. I'll click on the Preview button and then add the URL of the website we're working on. This prompts Google Tag Assistant. I'll collapse this message and then go back to the Tag Assistant tab. Click on Continue. And then here in the output section, we can see two classifications, tags fired and tags not fired. The consent mode init is fired, and that's exactly what we want. We have our three scripts not fired, and that's also what we want. Let's see this working. I'll go back to the publish web page and click on preferences in the cookie consent UI. I'll consent to only analytics scripts and then save preferences. Now, if I go back to Tag Assistant, we'll see that now Google Analytics tag is fired. Great. Now let's test each category here. I'll open up the Preferences UI again and consent to the Marketing category. And we should see Facebook Pixel firing. There it is. Wonderful. Now let's consent to the Personalization category. And as expected, we can see Zendesk firing. Perfect, since everything is tested and working, I'll go back to the FinSuite Components Webflow app and confirm that GTM setup is done. That's it, you did it. You now have Google Tag Manager working flawlessly with FinSuite Cookie Consent. FinSuite Components is always free with your Webflow.io staging domain. We'll never charge you to test and build your components. When you're ready to go live, get a subscription to publish to production. You are one step closer to building next level components inside your Webflow project. You can download FinSuite components in the Webflow apps marketplace. And those links are in the description below. Go to finsuite.com components to learn how we can help you succeed with Webflow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about how to build awesome websites in Webflow.